What's your reaction to going to Ottawa? There has been talk about Zadina and you flipping back and forth. Mm -hmm. Did you think it was a foregone conclusion to be Ottawa? Uh, no, I mean, there's a lot of kind of speculation and a lot of, you know, read a couple things the past uh, couple days, see if I can get uh, you know, clear. Uh, but uh, no, I'm super happy right now and I'm you know, super excited to celebrate this with my family and friends. When you went to Ottawa, what was your impressions of the organization? Yeah, I mean, they, they ran by great management. Um, you know, it was great facilities, and um, you know, I was, you know, super happy leaving there. And that um, was definitely a spot I wanted to go to. When you talked to Ottawa, with the idea of you maybe going back to BU next season, something they would be okay with? Yeah, we didn't really you know, talk about that on on um, you know the visit. Um, just kind of taking it day by day, and and, and just kind of cherish this moment right now, but. Uh, we'll probably discuss that the next you know, night or so, but um, I'm going to talk to them and then you know, talk to my parents and see what's best uh, moving forward. How do you lean on that? Do you feel like you're ready, you ready to play in the NHL this year? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a, a big goal of mine to, to be in the NHL, but um, you know, I obviously don't want to rush it either. So um, you now we're going to talk with them and talk to my parents and see what's best um, along them. Perhaps you go higher than that, too. The weight is uh, off my shoulders right now, and uh, he'll definitely uh, hear about it later. Um, but no, I, I think he's just super proud, and um, I'm just so happy right now. Do you have any concerns about all the negative headlines in Ottawa right now? Mm, no, no, I know it's it's ran by you know, great management. I know there's great guys in the locker room too. So, uh, I mean, I'm just super excited right now to you know get there for development camp and, and see what it's all about. And I'm just you know, super excited to be a part of this, this organization. You know, Colin White, obviously. Yeah, no, Colin played with my brother, and then I played with Logan Brown growing up. So, uh, and I know Chris Wyman too. So, you know, I, got, I know a couple guys, and, and I know I'm going to be getting texts from them later. But um, I'm just super happy right now. Had you talked to them about the organization? at all this off season, just to get an idea? Yeah, well, Colin White would send me the, the occasional Snapchat and say, uh, you're coming to Ottawa. So uh, that's, that's how the conversation would start. And, and uh, no, but he's um, you know, such a great guy, and, and I'm super excited to, to be seeing him more often. What was today like for you? Were you nervous, or were you glad to get this moment over with? Or? Yeah, I say in the morning I was, I was more nervous, and then I got pretty distracted throughout the day with, you know, with my friends and a couple meetings. So. Um, and all, right, all my friends started kind of filing in today and, and to see them catch up and you know, we had a lot of pictures before so I'm just super excited to you know, have them support me and come all this way and um, I'm super excited to see them after too. Did you, all tell Pierre, did you tell Pierre at all at any moment you'd like to see Eric Carlson still there if you got there? Uh, that, that didn't come up but uh, I, I bet they're, they're working hard on, on keeping them but um, I, I, I didn't come up I was more just thanking them and um, and I was shaking a bit because I was you know, so excited, and um, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, I was kind of nervous going on the stage. I didn't want to you know, trip on the steps or anything like that. So um, no, I'm just, when I got out there, it was you know, surreal, and it was a dream come true. Where do you have to feel to have bragging rights on family now? It feels good. Uh, I can tell you that. It's, uh, I know I'm going to say that tonight, just kind of give it to Matthew a bit and my dad, but I know after today and tomorrow I'm going to you know, start working again, and I know development camp is pretty soon. So. Uh, keep training for that and, and be ready for that. Brady, what does it mean to you to be another one of those kids coming out of St. Louis? Uh, it's, it's a it's a huge honor. Um, you know, St. Louis is now becoming you know, a hockey hotspot because of the people that you know have stayed and created that organization. Guys like Al McKinnis, Chris Pronger, Jeff Brown, um, you know, my dad, and you know, there's others I'm not naming, but uh, but there you know, there's people that you know, help it out so much. You now um, you're going to see a lot more kids from St. Louis coming up and. No, it, it's so exciting to see because you know, the market in St. Louis, everybody loves their hockey there, and uh, you know the Blues are doing well, and um, no, there's gonna be a lot more kids coming up. What did your dad tell you about this day and what, what he goes after it? Yeah, I mean he just says enjoy it because obviously it only happens once, so um, just enjoy it with you know, family, friends, and um, people that have come a long way to support me. So just enjoy it and um, don't take it for granted. Did watching Matthew go through it help prepare you? Well, I think so. I, I mean, whenever Matthew had meetings, I was kind of sitting in with, you know, with his, uh, with our agency. So, um, just to be with him and, and see him and how he carried himself on this day when he was when he was going through it, it's, you know, helped out. But, um, you know, to finally be, you know, the guy in his shoes and, you know, feel the nerves. My heart was beating um, before the pick, and, you know, I knew I, I felt really good when they were going up there, and, and my, you know, advisor looked back and gave me the head nod. So. 
Um, I'm super, super happy. I'm super excited to be you know, uh, be a senator. What about your year? Kind of the biggest consideration as far as determining whether to go back to BU. I mean, I'm just looking at the long run, and you know, I want to have a, a long career. Um, so I don't want to rush anything, but I definitely feel like I can be ready. But um, that's a discussion for the next you know, couple of days. I'm going to try to enjoy enjoy it this weekend. Um, but um, we'll definitely probably talk about that on, on Sunday and um, throughout the week. What about your year at BU? Do you feel helped you the most to you know develop? Well, playing against 25-year-olds and, and the team we had, especially we had a you know a great team and um, you know it was always competitive practices, always you know working against um, you know each other and um, you know we had a great group of guys and then back to the 25-year-olds who are playing against big, strong um, D. Um, you had to use your brain more in battles and instead of trying to outmuscle them because they're pretty strong guys. So. Um, I think overall, there, it was a great, great spot for me. I felt like I really developed and you know, elevated my game throughout the year.